Welcome to Centerville, Mississippi. This is Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown. We are here at Pastrana Land. We are lighting it up figuratively and literally. Here with Travis Pastrana. I'm here with the man himself, Kevin Windham. Oh, oh, we have to. Mississippi, we just had Joe Dirt go down during the second round of jumps right after the whole shot. Ow. My foot slipped off. Welcome to Centerville, Mississippi. This is stop number one of the 2021 Pit Bike Triple Crown. Welcome everyone, I'm Jimmy Coleman, standing alongside none other than Trevor Piranha, and this is Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown. Now Piranha, the Triple Crown, this has been a long time in the making, and pit bikes, well they're no stranger to the history of Nitro Circus. Talk about the evolution of pit bikes at Nitro Circus and how things have evolved to become more organized. So we've been doing pit bikes for years, never put a whole lot of attention on filming it, but now as we're getting older, we're just trying to find an excuse to get all of our friends together and do something. So we started organizing the races last year at Pastrana Land, real popular, so we moved on to Magical's Northern Nightmare Race. Then we did the four-part race at Sipes's, the Bluegrass Brawl. And here we are in Mississippi at a very legendary compound not a lot of people get to come to, Farm 14. So we've condensed the action into one week, and as you mentioned, we started off here at Farm 14. We're gonna make a return to the Sipes compound for stop number two, and the big finish, the finale at Pastrana Land in Maryland. Three legendary riders masterminding these very challenging events. Let's learn more about these three gentlemen right now. Kevin Windham, Ryan Sipes, and Travis Pastrana, and a project they all worked on together. A few months after the hurricanes hit, Travis was on a film shoot with his friends, and together they came up with an idea to raise money for Puerto Rico by fielding a team in the biggest motocross race in the world, the Motocross of Nations. Look, if we could rebuild a couple motocross courses, uh, maybe put a roof on, on one or two houses, I was like, you know, we're not gonna affect the world, but we're gonna affect a few people in a really positive way. Ryan Sipes is the epitome of hard work in America. But I was, I was pumped. This is a once in a lifetime deal. I'm not gonna ever pass this up. K-Dub, Kevin Windham, far and away, most talented badass that's ever been on a motorcycle. The, the whole thing came together and just felt so right. And I look forward to seeing, at the end, the, the positive things that come from it down in Puerto Rico. Now all three team members are on the gate. The final gets away here. This was the greatest idea outside the fact we actually had to race. The P final at Red Button. Go Puerto Rico, man. We're so excited to, to win something. At least it's the B main, and uh, we're winning for Puerto Rico, man. The efforts of the fans and the way they've gotten behind us have been amazing. We're here in Puerto Rico. Our goals for the week are to work on some homes that were badly damaged during the hurricane, rebuild a motocross track, and hand out supplies wherever they're needed. Thank you very much for being here, for not leaving us alone, and for bringing these smiles to the people that you guys are reaching and to the kids that are, are seeing your example. I'm happy, and I say thank you, everybody, for helping me. It's just really good to see people helping each other out. down here with Travis right now, who is in a cast and on crunches. Travis, what happened? Well, it's not a cast, but yes, I ran out of talent. I broke my tibia. Well, I hit a tree really hard trying to keep up with girls. Um, just a hairline fracture, not too big of a deal. However, no weight bearing for the next four to six weeks. So I'm here now as a team coach, but on a positive note, we have the faster Wyndham filling in. Bud Wyndham is gonna be on my team 
Billion with Dusty Weigel. It is going to be absolutely awesome. Kevin, you must have got a really weird phone call from Travis recently that resulted in what's behind us. What happened? Yeah, well, that's not the first time that's ever happened with me and Trav. So he, he called me up with this, again, amazing idea that he always has about a Triple Crown, and uh, they wanted to venture all the way down to Centerville, Mississippi, which happens to be the center of nothing. And uh, Travis basically gave me one goal. He said, make it as big as possible, doable, but just barely. So that's what we created here, and I think it's going to create for some good racing. Now, just looking at this behind us at a first glance, it doesn't look possible on 110cc bikes, but you you tested it. Well, I did, but truth be told, even my son did. And that's kind of whenever I, you know, I realized how good he was and uh, he, he's claiming all these jumps. But we will tell all the talent, all the, all the guys that are coming in for all these races that they have not been accomplished yet. And it's going to really see who's who's got manpower out there right now. Sounds like a challenge you definitely need to accept. Back over to you guys, Jimmy. Joining us right now is action sports icon Travis Pastrana. Well, Travis, you actually handpicked the teams for the Pit Bike Triple Crown this year. We have some returning names from last year, some new names here in 2021. However, due to some injuries, we've had to have a few stand-ins. So break down the teams for us, starting with Team Traxxas. Team Traxxas is absolutely stacked, but after seeing these huge jumps, Phil Smagical Smage decided that it was in his best interest not to ride this round if he wanted to survive, and I respect the heck out of that decision. Jeremy Manningly will be standing in for Smadge. Jeremy's teammate is Tyler Behrman, and I tell you what, he knows how to put on a good show. This is gonna really fit in his wheelhouse. Team Power Plus, K-Dub, Kevin Windham did not plan on riding after a big back injury, but he is stepping in for Matto, who hurt his knee in practice, and then Ryan Sipes, gonna be tough to beat Ryan. He is a jack of all trades, and he is looking for another win. TV Parts, Definitely the powerhouse team of the weekend. You got Caleb Carter and Pooh Sipes. Caleb Carter, one of the smaller guys, one of the most established pit bike professionals in the world. And Pooh Sipes coming off a couple wins in the heats. He's looking good for this event. Guaranteed rate, you have Dusty Weigel and Bud Windham. Kevin's son, Bud, is ready to rock. Dusty is looking for some backflips, looking to put on a good show. And definitely, guaranteed rate is going to be someone to watch out there for this race. Therabody, the female team of Becca Sheets and Corey Steed. These two are absolutely amazing. Becca has had Corey's number all year in GNCC, but Corey can throw down on the massive jumps, and it is going to be awesome to see how these women compete against the guys. Team Pit Viper, Greg Duffy and Stank Dog. Stank Dog coming up a win in Pastrana Land is looking for more of the same. These guys are gonna be the takeout crew and looking good already in practice. Team Black Rifle Coffee Company, Troy Smalls and Jimmy Hill. Troy Smalls is going to be an underdog, but I tell you what, he would have had the win in the hair scramble section last year in Kentucky had he not had a flat. Still almost beat Sipes in his backyard. Always fun to watch. And Jimmy Hill, one of the top racers out there. This is going to be a great team. Zip Recruiter, Cody Cam, and Blake Bilko Williams. These guys are going to be an awesome team, but Blake unfortunately had a big crash yesterday. He is stepping out, but Wyatt Fontenot is going to be stepping in. And I tell you what, I've been watching him out there in practice. He is absolutely on fire, dialed in all the jumps before anyone else. It is going to be one heck of a team to beat. Team Wild Mike's Pizza, Johnny Lewis, the flat track legend, one of the coaches for Ryan Sipes, is going to be a threat later this week. His teammate, Travis Hardcastle. Hardcastle has not had good results, but I tell you what, he is definitely one of the fastest in practice and has the talent to go out there and win these events. So word on the street is we finally have a cash prize to put up for this event. It's really hard to get. You got to sweep all 14 events this week, but it's a million dollar cash prize on the line. Million dollars, ladies and gentlemen, but it is such a long shot that Nitro Circus did not even take out an insurance policy. And if anyone does win all 14 events, Nitro Circus is probably going to be bankrupt. So you're saying it's going to be a long shot, but it's also going to be real, real interesting. When we come back, we are going to take a sneak peek at the legendary Farm 14 here. We're also going to learn more about Team Power Plus, who features none other than Kevin Windham and Ryan Sipes.
Welcome back, everyone, to Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown. We are just about set to kick off pit bike racing here in Mississippi. But before we start, Kevin Windham has devised an interesting way to determine the seating. Let's talk about that, Piranha. Yeah, so his main motocross track, the outdoor track, is located about a half mile down the road. The pit bike track is located behind his main house. So there's going to be a drag race down an access road to get here. First one gets here. First gate pit. Hey, you get to host, why not keep it interesting? Right now, let's check in with the third member of our team, JT, who's down trackside with all the riders. Who? You were lined up next to your brother. Last time you guys were on the same team, now you're on opposing teams. Are you gunning for him? Oh, absolutely. I beat him last time. I plan on doing it again. Any thoughts on that, Ryan? He ain't got a chance. I don't know about this gravel road race, slash asphalt, slash dirt road, but, uh, I mean, as long as we get a good gate pick, we'll be fine. So it was Travis's idea to start this on a gravel road. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, Kevin? Well, like all of Travis's ideas I get roped into, dumbest idea ever. What, what's your pick on, Piranha? I'm going to go Caleb Carter, man. I, I think he's got the power to weight ratio, and he's uh, got the bike skills. And if anyone gets too rough with him, he'll, he'll probably come out ahead. Oh, oh, oh! Corey botches the start! Joe Jerk! Joe Dirk in the lead! That power to weight ratio really good! Dude, that is the loudest rumble of 110s I have ever heard in my entire life. Listen to that racket. That's like a World War II era prop plane taking off in the distance. You can hear it. It's it's just it's daunting off in the woods. Coming in hot. There's not a lot of real estate coming down that Man. last trail between the trees, past the it bulldozer, through the guaranteed rate. Caleb Carter. Flags. Woo! Caleb Carter. Go out of your way. Standing here with Caleb Carter, first across the line for the seating sprint. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but you are now officially in the running for a potential shot at a million dollars. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's going to be crazy to win every other race of this, but uh, we're going to do what we can, that's for sure. All right, so he's number one at points right now and potentially looking at a million dollars. Caleb, congratulations. Good luck on the rest of this Thank week. You. All right, Stank Dog, you're possibly one of my favorite riders out there. What uh, what happened there on the sprint? I sucked. That's what happened. No, uh, I got into it with uh, TB. He spun out and ran into him. It's part of it. It's how it goes. Somebody's got to come in last. It was me. Now, moving into this uh, first heat race, and now that you have last gate pick, well, what are your, uh, your plans to kind of get ahead here? Pull the whole shot, stuff everyone that's in front of me. If I don't pull the whole shot, win the race. Solid. Well, the seating is now set for both of our heats and how this is gonna operate out here today. We're gonna have the two heat races, there's gonna be the main, and then we're gonna have a relay or a team race. Now, everybody's gonna wanna do good right out of the gate, especially when you got Kevin Windham watching here in his own backyard. Right now, we send it down to Travis Pastrana for the guaranteed rate course preview. Windham's house at Farm 14 has always been known for big jumps. Kevin likes to fly through the air, he likes to be upside down, likes to do really amazing stuff. He's known for his transfers. This whole track feels like a transfer line. Come down a huge start into an uphill left sand turn. There's gonna be carnage and chaos right off the bat, guaranteed. Going into the backside, huge jump, have a little bit of some outdoor section and a couple double doubles, but there is an eight pack. Four jumps, back to back to back to back. The best riders in the world are wondering if they can even make the first set let alone be able to link all of those together. Kevin is convinced that it's possible. Bud Windham is the only one that's made it through so far. I guarantee that he is gonna rate well here at this event. There's a lot on the line today, but I tell you, every time I come down here, we have the best time. We've come down for Loretta's qualifier, filming action figures, the pond skimming. Uh, Kevin has an amazing facility here. It's an absolute motocross playground. Such a legend and such a legendary facility. And speaking of legends, he also gets to pair up with another legendary rider, Ryan Sipes, and those guys are going to form Team Power Plus. They're absolute ringers. You got Ryan Sipes, who won the last event. Kevin Windham, he built the track. This is his house. Like, how are these two not gonna win? You heard it, he's claiming ringers. Let's meet Team Power Plus. I'm Ryan Sipes, I'm professional have funner. I just race a lot of dirt bikes and a bunch of different stuff. Uh, from Flaherty, Kentucky, and I'm on Team Power Plus. And I'm Kevin Windham, uh, very retired professional half-funner, about like him. 
and I live in the center of nowhere, Centerville, Mississippi. Basically always ridden pit bikes. Uh, I raced motocross uh, pretty much all the time growing up. Had a lot of fun racing at Travis's and up at Phil's and uh, all over the place in my race last year. And I think we've taken pit bikes to another level and uh, it's fun to uh, kind of scare yourself and go, I don't think we can, and then we do. And it works out so far. I want to see the riders push their limits. I want to see some casing. I want to see some over jumping. I want to see some close calls, right? I'll be honest with you. That's the thing. We all want to see a little bit of that. But I know that it's all fun and it's all games. But when the helmet goes on, the pit vipers go on, you line on the gate and the gate drops. That goes out the window, man. We're here for one thing. And I, I got some hurdles I got to accomplish with myself, right? Make a good teammate for Ryan and, and, and try to put Power Plus on top. Wyndham's Farm 14 Pit Bike Throwdown is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at GuaranteedRate.com today. Traxxas, the fastest name in radio control. And ZipRecruiter, put ZipRecruiter to work for you. Welcome back, everyone, to Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown. The riders are in the gate to start in heat one. Let's send it down to JT, who's trackside. I know I say this a lot, but this is definitely the largest pit bike track that I have seen to date yet. These jumps are made for big bikes, and yet here we are with 110 cc's, a small backed wheel, and they are sending it here like we haven't seen before. Let's give it up to Kevin Windham and Guaranteed Rate for making this race possible. All right, so here we go. Motors are revved, ready to drop the flag here and get this heat number one underway at nine riders in the gate here. Caleb Carter, Wyatt Fontenot, Dusty Weigel, Johnny Lewis, Corey Steed, Greg Duffy, Travis Hardcastle, Rebecca Sheets, and Tyler Behrman. But the big question is, as we start off this first heat of two, who is going to get the black rifle hole shot? The 32nd card is out. I think this is for real this time. It's sideways. Bilko working double duty out here, and here we go. Look at Duffy, big wheelie, but it is Joe Dirt getting off to a great jump. And Hardcastle with a hole shot. Corey Steed going down in the first turn, coming out last. Couple riders really struggling with that first hill right there. Whoa! Carter went to flat. He is so light. Holy cow, it is hot here in Mississippi. We just had Joe Dirt go down during the second round, it jumps right after the whole shot. It's three laps on course here oh. for heat number one, and everybody battling out for lane selection going into the first main. Right there. Tell you, Travis Hardcastle out to a lead. He is slipping and sliding and going. The rain has just opened up. Greg Duffy's second place. I tell you, Wyatt Fontenot coming in clutch for Bilko last second edition. He just tripled out of that whoop section over the ramp jump, and Hardcastle is proving that he is worthy this week. Hardcastle over jumps. He's gonna have to go around. Greg Duffy is off. That leaves the door wide open for Wyatt Fondo. Yeah. You see him looking back over his shoulder. Caleb Carter is catching up, gaining some ground on him. Hardcastle was looking so good up until that rhythm section right there. A little bit of contact there with Fontenot and Carter. Oh, and look out, Wyatt oh, gets a little loose. Just Corey Steed has dropped Dusty Weigel. Dusty is in the last place. Joe Dirk has taken number one. Coming back from almost eighth place, here comes Joe Dirk in the lead. Big crash. Oh. Hardcastle bounces up like nothing happened. Behrman does not bounce up with the same enthusiasm. Something fell off one of those bikes over there. Yellow caution flag is out for that part of the course, but meanwhile, Caleb Carter still hanging on to that lead. Wyatt Fontenot still giving chase, and Duffy, after having a little slip up in lap number one, still in that number three spot. Back into the four pack here. We gotta see whoever can get through here clean is gonna have an advantage. Yeah, this was the undoing in that first lap, and that's why we had the lead change. There's not a lot of room for passing, but there's a lot of room for error in this section right here. Seems like the over jump on the third jump has been what's been getting everyone out. Oh, oh, over jump, there we go. Wyatt having trouble again. Greg Duffy into second place. Whoa, 
No, cheater, shortcut. Did that just get dirty? Did Wyatt just pull some dust, some dirty yeah, pull he, on? Yeah, he cut the inside of that line. It's going to be at least a one-spot penalty. We'll see what Wyndham says about it. Here we go on the third and final lap, and it's Caleb Carter out to a sizable lead now. He's going to keep his name in that top spot, looking at a million dollars. Second flag, show dirt. Over the zip recruiter finish line jump. Checkered flag to ankle blow up, but he's across the finish line at number one. Oh. As if we wouldn't expect anything less, you go down after the first turn and then come back to win this thing by almost a quarter of a lap. <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, that was a pretty sucky situation on the start. Again, didn't get the, exactly the start I wanted, the jump and through the corner. And then uh, just riding in second, trying to not jump on the guy in front of me, but ended up clipping his back end and going down pretty hard. Bent my bars up pretty good too, but uh, yeah, happy I was able to come back and uh, get the win. Well, that is amazing. We can't wait to see you in the final. Back over to you boys, Jimmy. Piranha, let's take a look at the Trax's best crash, which we're awarding to Tyler Behrman and Travis Hardcastle. At least both of these guys were able to get up and walk away from this one. So after a win in the road race in heat number one, it's Caleb, Joe Dirt Carter, out to a commanding points lead here at the Farm 14 Throwdown. With those two wins, Caleb remains in the hunt for the million dollar grand prize. Before heat number two, let's meet the members of Team Zip Recruiter, led by Wisconsin's own Cody Cam. My name's Cody Cam. I'm from Kenosha, Wisconsin. I'm a professional snowmobile racer, and I'm here racing for Team Zip Recruiter. Uh, Bill Co, Blake Williams, freestyle motocross rider and circus clown from Australia, and I am riding for Team Zip Recruiter. My goals are always to obviously win races, so it's uh, but here, looking at the track, it's it's going to be gnarly. I think the goal is just to survive, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was riding shows at the Supercross on Saturday and I uh, ran out of talent, cartwheeled. Lucky it was an airbag landing. Got here, couldn't really move my chest still. Did a couple laps in practice, was absolutely horrible. So yeah, they got a replacement for me, Wyatt Fontenot. Uh, he's a local kid, awesome rider. Actually had a lot of skill out there. It was going really fast. If you're not cheating, you're not trying, so. Uh but I think it's just gonna be completing three laps consecutively without casing or doing something crazy because those jumps are gnarly. So it's, uh, yeah, just survival. Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown, and heat number one is in the books. We've got the riders lined up in the gates for heat number two. Let's check in once again with JT. Who do you like here at heat two, JT? This one's a family affair. We've got the Sipes brothers, Ryan and Pooh, battling Kevin and Bud Windham, the father and son duo who actually designed this track. Look for Stank Dog or Smalls to get the whole shot, but my money's on KW for the win. Here we go, Bill goes back out with the 30 second card. We got engines fired up, so we're getting ready to do this all over again. Heat number two, this one's all about lane selection going into the main. It's three laps, it might be four. It all depends on what the guys are thinking out there with the flags. There we go, heat number two is underway and again. Who's getting that black rifle coffee hole shot, boys? Who sides with the hole shot? He was skating that one to get up the hill, dabbing that foot a little bit. A little bit of carnage going up that hill, but here we go into the first set of jumps. You think the brotherly rivalry plays in here? You got uh, Ryan Sipes with the Red Bull sponsorship, professional rider, and his brother that's a monster truck driver is actually leading the race right now. I tell you, Pooh Sipes is on fire. He came out swinging at the last championship at Ryan Sipes' house and was able to take the win in straight rhythm um, looking really good to start this off. Ryan Sipes also coming straight in from GNCC. Gonna be a little tired, a little worn out, driving all night, but looking spot on right now. 
It's all gonna come down to this eight pack right here. It is rider back to back to back to back. Can Pooh get through this consistently? Everyone has been over jumping the third jump and he hits it spot on. Yeah, it's Stank Dog making a case, trying to overtake Ryan there. How about the Sipes brothers out there duking it out? Oh, and Ryan's overtaking his brother. Ryan Sipes out in the lead now. There we go. Oh, Wyndham misses the jump. Puts his hand up. I believe he has mechanical. Oh, looks like uh, Wyndham's out. That's a bummer. Looks like Wyndham's chain just came off. He used his own equipment. See what happens when you try to cheat, ladies and gentlemen. Stank Dog coming in on Poo. Oh, did he overtake him? He did, so Stank Dog now in that number two spot. That Stank is all over Poo. And I tell you what, he's the only one tripling out right there. Ryan was building on that lead for a little bit, but Stank Dog caught up to him just a hair. Sipes has been the most consistent rider through the eight pack right here. Let's see if he can pull it off again. Definitely the most technical part of the track. And he over jumps. Ooh, oh, it's gonna be bad. Side. I don't know about that. Sipes did not lose any time by messing up completely right there. If there's a takeout move, it's gonna be right here. But I think Sipes is gonna hold him off. One turn to go. And the checkered flag is out, coming over the finish jump, and Ryan Sipes is gonna get it done here. Stank Dog put up a good fight, but he's gonna have to settle for second. Starting the day off strong for Power Plus. Ryan, what happened out there? Dude, straight chaos. Uh, Pooh got the whole shot. I was right in behind him. He was faster than me, and then uh, all of a sudden I got a chance, I took him wide, he made a mistake and got in the lead. I almost killed myself back here in the rhythm section. That is so technical and tough to do, but I got a win, so I'm happy. And Stank Dog was right on your heels there. Were you worried about him at all? Oh yeah, he's fast. He's one of the best dudes here, so I knew when he was close, I had to guard my inside, watch my six, and uh, <laughs> thankfully we, we took her home. Are we gonna talk about the fact that you're on a 125 right now? You know, I totally feel like a cheater. I was just telling Stank that uh, it is a cheater bike, but amongst this crew, I don't think it matters. I think there's a lot of cheaters out here, and uh, house rules, as Travis would say. I think I think that it, it is your house. You're allowed to do what you're doing, but really, if we're talking about an equal playing field, when we look at power to weight ratio and Stank Dog compared to you, those extra 15 cc's actually le level, level this out. That was a very subtle fat joke you just told. I like it, I appreciate it. You know, earlier in the day, Travis said, there's no one making clean laps above the age of 32, and I'm like, I'm a decade plus one above 40. I mean, I'm almost in the plus 50 class. So I think anything goes for me. Stank got loose there, man. We came in tight. I was I was ready to put him over a burn. He was riding like a goon. I was ready to take him out. And my shifter got bent underneath my cases and I had to uh, make a little pit stop, a little adjustment and finish really bad. Well, you know, the finish on this one doesn't really matter. You going into the main event and really putting the paces to all of them does. You have a strategy for that. Take him out if I get a chance. I mean, I, I know that I didn't hit him hard enough. Um, and because of where he hit, I was I need to be a little further in front of him. I, I just want to be a wrecking ball. I mean, I, I take my notes from Duffy. Duffy's really good at that. And with this being just a combined points race, you could target the guys that actually have some good points and and, and ruin it for them. That's my goal. I just I'm just here to be the wrecking ball, man. That's all I want to do. Evan Wyndham here making this race interesting. Back over to you, boys. Well, we're halfway through the event. It's time now for the main. However, we have an interesting story developing. Let's talk about those standings. Yeah, Jimmy, we got a million dollars still on the line, and Caleb Carter is the only one with a chance to take it home. And you got Pooh Sipes, Ryan Sipes, and Stank Dog right on his heels, and 17 other riders that aren't going to make it easy on him. Looking at our current standings, it's Caleb Carter leading the points chase with 27. He's followed closely by Ryan Sipes, Wyatt Fontenot, and Troy Smalls Knoll. But you've got Bud Windham, Dusty Weigel, and Johnny Lewis. They're all tied for fifth place with 17 points. But right now, it's time to meet another one of our teams out here today. It's Team Black Rifle Coffee Company. What's up, everybody? I'm Troy Smalls. I'm Ryan for Black Rifle Coffee. 
And this is my teammate, Jimmy Hilsack. Yeah, I'm really excited about this Triple Crown. Uh, we're starting off at the legend Kevin Windham's house uh, in uh, Mississippi, heading up to Kentucky to Ryan Sipes' house, and then from there we'll go to the third round over in Annapolis, uh, Maryland with, uh, at Travis Pastrana's house. I've known this guy for about a couple years, touring with him and being on, uh, on that stunt show, and um, all I know is his style is insane. He's definitely gonna make us look good. I may hopefully get us on the podium, but all I know is that we got two, two good things going for us. We got racing and we got style. Uh, my goal for this race at the Farm 14 Throwdown would probably be to get Kevin Windham's autograph. We're riding for uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company. They are awesome. They're a veteran-owned company. Uh, they're crazy awesome dudes and uh, strong guys that are way stronger than me, and I'm happy to make their team stronger. Wyndham's Farm 14 Pit Bike Throwdown is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at GuaranteedRate.com today. By Power Plus. Power. When you need it, where you need it. And ZipRecruiter. Put ZipRecruiter to work for you. Welcome back everyone to Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown. It is time now for the main event and we've talked about that Caleb Carter story. Who else do you like to challenge him here in this main? I think the Sipes brothers. I like those two. I think they're looking strong out there and either, either one of those guys takes a win here. Carter's out. There's a million dollars on the line. Let's get to it. It is the main ladies and gentlemen here at the Kevin Windham Farm 14 Throwdown out here. We had nine riders on course at a time in both the opening heat races. This time it's gonna be all out carnage. 18 riders on course for three laps at the O and they're lighting it up. We've got flames, there's pyrotechnics. Guys, I was not told this was gonna happen. Welcome to Mississippi, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to get real. We are lighting it up figuratively and literally and here we go, we are underway. Who is going to get that black rifle hole shot? Oh, in on the outside and it's a yard sale. Wyndham all the way back in last at that point. Uh, technically he got the hole shot. Stank Dog looking good second from the back row. So the battle for first place taking place early on here in this opening lap. Check out the grouping for one, two, three. Tyler Behrman, second place. This is the best that he's been riding. Joe Dirt all the way back in sixth place. Oh, it takes Hardcastle right over the berm. What a move by Joe Dirt. All right, here we go. He's got a big lead, but can he make it through? I'll tell you, Stank Dog's got to be making the producers feel good, defending that million dollars. I was going to say, the briefcase is safe for right now. Remember, it is only a three-lap race here in the main. You know, Troy Small, second place. I wouldn't be surprised if I see a backflip coming out of him. Here we go into lap two. Stank Dog has definitely separated himself from the rest of the pack, but you got a battle going on for that number two position right now. Bruce Sipes sitting in third, trying to overtake Troy Smalls right here, putting up a fight. And Ryan Sipes into fourth place. Ryan closing some ground on his brother Pooh. Can Stank Dog keep it together in round two? Stank throwing tricks, just going all out right there. He's lucky, Troy Small is kind of holding up the Sipes brothers. Joe Dirt back in sixth place on the second of three laps. I don't know if he's going to have enough time to close the gap and win this. Ryan Sipes has passed his brother Pooh for third now. Troy Small still holding on to that number two position, but can anybody catch up to Stank Dog on this final lap? We got heel clickers going on. Stank is having fun out front. He feels like he has this, but this track can reach up and bite you at any time. The battle, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth is on. Joe Dirt does not look like he's gonna have a chance at that million dollars. He does not pick it up hard on this last lap. 
Tank Dog just needs to stay clean to this four pack to hold this lead. Perfect strength over clean. Smalls looking good. Over jumps. Can he make it? He pulls it off. Oh, is Ryan going to get him on the, on the inside? No. Joe Dirk gets passed back. It is there on. There we go. Stank Dog Second takes the checkered good. over the ZipRecruiter finish line jump. Ryan Sipes hangs on to that number three position. Holy cow! Ripping a million dollars from Joe Dirt. Yes, sir. Had to make sure he didn't get the Millie, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you took that lead by almost three seconds. What was going on? Oh, man, just got a good start. Kevin pushed everyone wide for me in the first corner. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, just had fun. Big shout out to Pit Viper and uh, Nitro Circus and Kevin Windham for putting this on. And absolute blast. Thank you, guys. Troy Smalls putting points up on the board for Team Black Rifle. What was going on out there? All I know is I beat Sipes Brothers, and that's like the first time I've ever done that. So it's a, it's a check mark in my book, and uh, that was the funnest thing ever. And uh, I'm winded. I don't think I breathed the whole time. Was this sort of one of those lesson time times where you wanted to teach little Kevin, you know, who Dad was? It, that, that ship has sailed. It's, it's, uh, he's going to have to go back to year 1997 or maybe maybe a little bit sooner and, and a few years after. But dude rides well, man. I, I'm, I'm kind of proud to see him out here and dealing with these knuckleheads. And uh, sad that his dad took him out. <laughs> took him out. But uh, he has fun to watch him out here riding, and uh, he, he rips. So I'm, I'm pumped. Well, on behalf of everyone at the Nitro Circus Triple Crown, we thank you for letting us come out to your property and hold the first race here. This has been amazing. Thank you, guys. Back over to you. Hey guys, back in the early 2000s when we started this thing, I had a vision for what Nitro Circus could be. But even back then, I knew if we were gonna make this brand as great as we thought it could be, we're gonna need the right people to make it happen. We were gonna have to recruit people with the right skills and experience to make this dream a reality. I got my start with Nitro Circus in the live shows back in 2010. Since then, I've done over 300 shows all around the world and plenty more action-packed adventures along the way. I got my opportunity with Nitro Circus back in 2019 at the World Games when they incorporated quarter pipe and hooligan racing. I've done two pit bike tours with the crew and uh, it's been a lot of action packed adventures ever since then. I got recruited to Nitro Circus 2014 when they introduced the Triganta triple hits to the Nitro show. Maybe 2016, 17, my video of me flipping a three wheeler kind of got around and they're like, hey, we want you to flip a three-wheeler. So we shook hands and I've been a part of it ever since. Well, for me, the call came in 2016 for the first ever Nitro World Games. Got a chance to call all the BMX events with TJ Lavin, and that was epic. When you need the right people in the right places, put ZipRecruiter to work for you. Welcome back everyone to Mississippi and Kevin Windham's Farm 14 Throwdown. We are down to our final race of the day, but right now we've got some tight grouping. There's only a couple points separating the top four riders. Yeah, so we got Ryan Sipes sitting number one position. Shocker, right? One point behind him is Caleb Carter. Then four points back, Troy Smalls. And then one point behind him, Wyatt Fontenot. So there's a lot of energy and excitement down there. Let's check in with JT Trackside before we get it started. We are here at the final race today at Farm 14, where behind me, the riders' partners are waiting for the handoff. Oh, here we go. The true fashion, taking it out in style. Light it up again, figuratively and literally. It's a total of four laps. You and your teammate each get two laps. It's one time around the course. Tagging your teammate, they get a lap, then you do it all over again. And here we go, relay race is underway. Caleb Carter pulling the whole shot there pretty easily. Look at Troy Smalls, second place. This guy is on fire. He is going to be a threat to contend with this entire Triple Crown. Second place in this race, and he's number three in the standings overall right now, Travis. Look at that Greg Duffy, Maryland Wrecking Crew coming in at 
third, and you have Ryan Sipes all over him. Sipes going for the takeout move, slams Duffy off. There is a four-way battle for third place. Sipes off the track, oh, big crash there. Cody Cam goes down, getting caught up in the battle between Sipes and Duffy. So it was Caleb Carter out in the early lead. He tags in his teammate, that's Pooh Sipes, doing it for TB Parts. And Jimmy Hill, uh, Smalls' his teammate, is holding second place pretty good. I think Wyndham's got what it takes to take chase down Jimmy. Oh, Wyndham takes it to Jimmy Hill right before the rhythm section. Let's see if he can put this together. Wyndham's back is so bad he cannot actually stand up, but makes it through cleanly. Stank Dog catching the whole group, sitting in fourth. And so we are getting ready for another rider change as Pooh comes across the last big double to meet up with his teammate. That TB Parts team has been in the top spot this entire relay race, so there's the tag. So here you go, Caleb Carter, you got the work done in lap number one. He's back at it again. But he does have Ryan Sipes chasing him down. If Sipes can keep it close, I think they got a shot with Wyndham. Yeah, that Power Plus team is in contention, because remember, it was K-Dub that took over that number two spot he passed up Jimmy Hill, so that put him in that number two position that last lap. Between Power Plus and TB Parts, you got Ryan Sipes in the top spot in individual points overall, and Caleb Carter's just behind him. 42 and 41 is what they're looking at respectively right now, so this is the battle within the battle, if you will. Here we go, Carter coming in for the last rider change. All right, he taps out, gives the high five to his teammate, Pooh Sipe. So here we go. He's out to a pretty sizable lead. Can he hang on and here for this comes last Wyndham, lap? Right behind him. Can Wyndham close the gap? You know, I'd never bet against Kevin Wyndham. He is probably the best rider to ever throw his leg over a motorcycle, but Pooh Sipes is very underrated. It is going to be everything Kevin has, and he is going all out for this win. Wyndham standing up, his back hurts, but he is pinned. Yeah, he's closing Hitting around the on berms him. Like a chicane in a ski slope. The closest they've been at any point in this race. It's gonna literally come down to this last part of the lap. Who holds on to it? Kevin taking second. Who holds off K Dub? Wow, look at this. And Stank Dog getting by Team Black Rifle for third place with Team Pit Viper. Oh, that was awesome. It's uh, Joe Dirt is way lighter than most of these people, so we put him on the start. Got a great start, got out front. K-Dub on his dank cheater bike. Uh, he was catching me, but we held him off. Yeah, but at one point, it looked like Joe Dirt was almost a quarter of a lap ahead of everybody else. Did that play to an advantage for you? Absolutely, because every time I, it was uh, me and K-Dub on the same lap, and every time I got out there, he would reel me in. Joe Dirt would pull it back out. He'd reel me in again, so it just worked out. Now, the question we're all wondering on the inside is, how much are you going to rub this in on your older brother? Uh, a lot. He's He has beat me all the way up to this point, but I told him before this one that no way he was going to win, so we came out on top. That's right. Thanksgiving is not going to be the same this year, ladies and gentlemen. Back over to you guys. Well, congratulations to Team TB Parks for the relay win. They now top the team standings with 90 points. They're followed by Teams Power Plus, Black Rifle Coffee Company, and Pit Viper. Ryan Sipes currently leads the Pit Bike Triple Crown, but he's followed closely by Caleb Carter, Troy Nolt, Justin Sipes, and Wyatt Fontenot, who's in for the injured Blake Bilko Williams. We'd like to thank Kevin Windham and his family for opening up the Farm 14 facility and for all of the riders for throwing down. I'm Jimmy Coleman. On behalf of myself, Trevor Piranha, and JT, we thank you for watching. Next stop, we're back to Kentucky. It's the return of the Bluegrass Brawl at the Sipes Compound for stop number two of the Pit Bike Triple Crown.